going back and up and down the hallway and my patient who's like over 350 400 pounds and I have their chart in my hand and I'm trying to push them and I don't know where the heck I'm going hi everyone welcome back to my channel my name is nurse Kathiana on this channel we talk about nursing lifestyle money in an open and honest environment we also inspire and motivate those who couldn't to do it so yes um welcome back to my channel so in today's video we're talking about 10 things new grads need to ask need to ask so let's get into this video so the first thing you need to ask is the ex expectations what do they expect from you as a new grad or as a floor nurse on that floor uh what are your ratios what are your number of pcas that are typically on the floor pcas meaning your patient care technicians or patient care assistants so what are some things that you like ratios that you can look forward to seeing uh don't be like me i found out that we would have eight patients on the floor when i first started definitely not my best <laughs> Next one is your call out policy. How many times can you call out in the year? How many missed punches can you have? These are just simple things that you need to know. Uh, not saying that you will do it constantly because we don't do that, but you just need to know for your own good in case of anything happens. And how do you call out? Who do you talk to? These are some things that you can ask. Number three, scheduling. When does the schedule close? How is the schedule made? what are your preferences in schedule these are really good questions to ask because some people prefer three in a row some people prefer two and then one so just ask what they prefer and as you continue on the floor you'll figure out what you like as well um next is how do they like the floor how do they like working on their floor how long have they worked on their floor <laughs> definitely when asking these questions you want to be open get them out, get out of your comfort zone and just you know try to see what you can get out of these people <clears throat> number five resources available you most likely will want a list of all the numbers if you can't get a list of all the numbers ask where can you get a list of all the numbers you want to know where what's the number to the pharmacy they are going to be your best friend <laughs> so number six a tour maybe uh, you want to ask and see where everything is especially like if you're taking someone to diagnostics and you just lost and you don't know where they're going like me i've done that before <laughs> going back and up and down the hallway and my patient who's like over 350 400 pounds and i have their chart in my hand and i'm trying to push them and i don't know where the heck i'm going it's, it's, it's not fun it's really not fun so definitely want to know where everything is um you want to have maybe a tour ask where the supplies is central supply things like that Number seven, the protocol orders. So you wanna know what you can and cannot put in as a nurse. Definitely wanna ask questions if you're unsure, but there are some things you can put in as a nurse as a protocol order under the doctor. So you wanna know what can you do, what can't you do? So number eight is if you're in a contract, get the details. You want to know how long you have to be on your floor before you can float, how many years until your contract is over. Just get the details. Ask around. Sometimes or some places don't even fulfill those contracts and you can kind of move around and have a little bit of wiggle room. So you want to just know like, okay, is this for sure, for sure? Or can I move around a little bit? Or how long do I have to stay on this floor? You know, because you don't always have to stay where you start. Uh, so the next one is pay so you want to know how you get paid how to read your paycheck don't be like me and i missed a complete day on my paycheck only because i didn't know how to read it so read your paycheck get it explained it doesn't really make sense at first as a new grad be just because of the way they set it up so you want to ask get it explained from others and that will definitely help you number 10 this is for all the people that haven't done their bsn where did you go to get your BSN? How did you like your BSN program? Where did you go to school? These are questions that you need to ask. So I hope that you guys like this video. Thumbs up this video. Comment down below some questions that you need to ask or you did ask or you want to know. As a new grad, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and until next time. Bye.